Hello and welcome back to Networking Experienced. What I wanted to talk about today is actually using the Mac version of Packet Tracer. So this has been recently released and you can go to cisco.netacad.net and you can log in if you have an account through the Networking Academy or if you don't, we're going to scroll down here and we'll, do, we'll click on Packet Tracer here. And there are some courses so you can enroll to download Packet Tracer. You complete the uh, short course on how to use Packet Tracer and then you'll be given an account that you can log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Down here it says Packet Tracer at the bottom if we scroll down. And then we have the Mac OS version 7.2.1 English. So I'm going to click on uh, download here. Okay, and now that this is uh, actually downloaded, you can click on it here to open it. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Um, and so what we have here is um, the disk image for Packet Tracer here. We can double click on uh, Mac Installer. And we'll go ahead and open this. We'll do continue here, accept the license. And we'll go ahead and do install. And we'll need to obviously allow it to do that. And then this should be done. And I'm going to go ahead with these two files here. And if I go to Launchpad, then here we'll have Packet Tracer that we can go ahead and start. And we'll do OK here. And then we'll need to log into that same account that we used to uh, download it. I'm going to go ahead and say, let it do any script from um, Packet Tracer. So I'm going to um, select the routers here and we'll do the 2621 XM and we'll bring one up here. Um, and I'll go ahead and we'll uh, go to the physical thing here. We're going to turn this off over here. So we click over here and turn this off. And then we will put in a, uh, a cover on this one. Let's put in a couple of WIC 2Ts here. And then we're going to power this one back up. Close and do Command C. And a command V, and now we actually have uh, two routers, and they both have the appropriate modules in them. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, we'll connect here, and we'll do this from serial zero here. So there is a, a small issue that I have um, noticed with using uh, Packet Tracer for the Mac, and that is, for instance, when you're doing pings. You know, even if you have it on real time, things go quite a bit slower sometimes. And so what I have been doing is I can do the option D or click this button here and that will actually speed up time so that it doesn't take forever for your pings to go through. So that's the only issue I've really noticed with using uh, Packet Tracer on the Mac. And uh, we're gonna go through and we'll be setting up a complete topology here on networking experience on packet tracer for the mac and if you'd like to follow along with us uh, please be sure to subscribe